Monstrances, Representative Jefferson Smith. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I know the hour is late. Uh, my comment on the floor earlier that my good colleague from Corvallis thought I said uh, frogs, uh, I actually said fraud. Uh, there were rumors today that the governor was nervous about passage of the water bill that Representative Jensen and I, Representative from Humanville County and I, w have been working on, worried that it wouldn't pass because a very strong coalition of users was opposed. He received this fax from several organizations, or rather, one of the chief advisors did, from a large set of organizations, you know, good handful of organizations. It was from an Alice, from a Kinko's in Portland. It's a veto request. And at the end of the veto request is a list of organizations, including the nurseries and the special districts and the League of Oregon Cities and the Oregon Farm Bureau. Today, I, and I know my colleague from Eastern Oregon, also were called off the floor by those four organizations to say they never authorized such a letter. They didn't sign it. They didn't affix their logos to it. And they certainly did not send it to the governor's advisor. In fact, they said they were going to submit a letter that said they disavow this, that they are neutral to the bill. And in fact, there's elements of the bill that they think are quite important. That's why I was off the floor today. The comment I made was not frogs, but fraud. It is one thing to advocate for a position that is important to you, that is critical in a democratic republic. It is another to do so on behalf of particular financial interests. That is inevitable in our system. It is another to offer fishy policy interpretations that are questionable or downright wrong. We have seen some of that in our bill, and there are some of that in other bills as well. I will probably need one yield. It is another to ply members with trips and drinks. It is another to send inflammatory mail pieces with pictures of burning homes and threats of burning babies and faces of members. It is quite another to send outright falsities with fraudulently written names. I hope that we will stand against that this session and frankly stand against it on this bill. And if anyone thinks that tactics like this will get us to back off, taking another step forward in Oregon's water policy, you are mistaken. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.